Hey, what's up guys, how's it going and welcome back to the Sony Vegas tutorial series and in this video I'm going to show you all how to do the spherize effect. It's uh, a really cool effect and can look really fucking good with some scope effects and shit but I'm just going to be dragging this normal clip off a no scope. So we delete the audio, we're going to want to sort of find where we want the effect to go through so if we pick just where the hit marker shows up, we drop a hit marker, hit marker, what the fuck am I on about? We drop a marker down just there. Sorry, I hit the wrong fucking key here. I've got a massive, greater fucking mic in front of my keyboard. It's a really nice mic, but yeah. And then we're going to come where the points just show up for the kill. We're going to drop another marker in. And this is where we are going to add the effect. So you go into the Sony tab here, and here's Sony Spherize. Hit add, hit OK. Now it's going to look shitty there because the fucking amount is all the way up. Set that back to zero. And if we just hit the animate button here and just make a little mark here, then go to your secondary marker and bring it to about 700. Yeah, it looks shitty at the moment because we've got to animate it out first. So if we count how many frames we've got here, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So if we go another six over, and then if we bring it back to normal, and we go back to the start of our clip and you see you have the little effect there and it looks really cool and that's going to look a lot better if you add some black bars in and add sync it to music of course using velocity and add some fucking color correction so that's exactly what I have fucking done if I just delete this shit here and I've got this clip up here for you so We've got our black bars here, we've got our um, fade in, fade out, our color correction, our clip, our music, these little um, keyframes here where I've added blurred transitions between each shit to sort of show the speed of the transitions through velocity. And I'll turn that off so you can guys can see it better. And yeah, let's just give it a watch. Okay, as you can see, it's pretty fucking sexy. Now you can do some awesome shit with this effect, but as with all the effects I do, the effects only look good incorporated with other effects. So you can't just leave it, leave it as a standalone effect. You have to fucking do shit with it. That's pretty much it for the fucking video, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.